Monday. Happy Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. I hope that you can hear me okay. And uh, I hope that a few of you are joining me this morning for a little doodle session. Uh, as always on a Monday at 10 o'clock and on Thursdays at 10 o'clock. So is anybody there apart from me? Paul, I know you're in the building. So perhaps you could just let me know that the volume is okay because I had to change the batteries and all that good stuff. Um, other than that, it's um, here in the southeast of England. It's a little overcast. Thank you. Paul says the sound is nice and clear. Ah, you rock. Welcome to the shack. My name's Barbara Gray from Clarity here in the UK. And as I was saying, every Monday and Thursday, we get together for a little doodle session, a little bit of yoga for the mind, stretching of our creative skills. We've been doing this for a couple of years, haven't we now? Good morning, everybody. Here they come. Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. Come on in. And, uh, and shut the door because it's quite cold. I think autumn is well and truly here, isn't it? Okay. We've been, uh, while well, you're all snuggling up and getting in uh, and sitting comfortably and getting your cup of tea, we've been thinking about, Dave and I, about what to do, what can we do to uh, reduce our costs our electric and that. I'm sure you're doing the same thing. And so um, so we've decided we're going to start using the arga more because we've got this arga in the kitchen, but we've also got a cooker in the kitchen, a gas cooker, a range master they're called. It sounds a little bit extravagant, doesn't it, to have two in the kitchen? But it's the way it is. And so a huge kitchen, we live in there. So the arga, really, I do all my laundry on it, you know, drying. Um, it's great for heating the laundry. The the Christmas turkey, that, that goes in the arga. Um, and other than that, though, really, it's, it's a bit of a luxury, really. It keeps the kitchen nice and warm, you know, but it's always on, isn't it, an arga? And so we made the decision this weekend we're going to start using the arga to cook and to boil our water on. So there's something really, really organic, and it's so lovely. When the kettle started whistling this morning, it was actually really lovely. Because um, I looked at the, 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 the list and the kettle's quite, um, it's quite an expensive little thing to run. And I mean, how often do we flick the kettle on, friends? Lots, right? So I thought, right. So I've got the little Le Creuset, you know, with the little whistle. And it works like a charm. And the good thing is, if you leave it on the arga, which is always hot on top, hence the heating, um, when you go to boil it again, just to top it up, you don't, you know, it doesn't take long at all because it's already quite hot. Now that's cool. Yeah, that's what we're doing at the moment. It's hunkering down for the winter. Log burn as a go-go, you know. Got to do, try, haven't we? We've got to try, do something. Bit colder here too, Judith. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Extra layers, pair of socks and all that. We've We've been spoilt here in England. Well, we sure have in the southeast. Really, really hot summer this year, eh? Global warming and all that good stuff. Come on in. Good morning. Hi, Sonia. Sitting in Tesco with a free coffee and cake. Well, here's to you, Sonia. <laughs> and so, if we're all in, are we? Let's have a look, 10 o'clock. Good. It's time to start. Thank you, by the way. For, uh, for watching if you watched and buying if you bought on um, on television this weekend. I'm a bit I'm a bit tired today, I have to say, because we did um, I did six hours, you know, and that's a lot of TV, that's a lot of prep, that's a lot of adrenaline, it's a lot of thinking on your feet. But it was a huge success actually. You know, it's interesting when you consider that apart from the the wonderful groovy plates, the the new and exclusive Linda Williams treasures, everything was pretty much um, old you know it was the night that's been around as long as um grace has nearly you know um so you had the twas the night then the outline stamps and uh, and it flew out it literally flew out the door so that's pretty cool because i know a lot of you already will have had that you know my our loyal our loyal customers and friends probably already had those stamps 
Um, but it's so it's interesting to see that we have new friends, you know, and um, and they are timeless, those designs, you know, whether they're the outline stamps or whether they're the Twas the Night that I drew, you know, they're still good today. Old is gold. 132 in the room. Well, I say, I say 143 according to my screen now, Paul. Anyway, if you've got any questions, ask Paul. He will have an answer. And uh, and if you recall last week, um, before I shot off to do telly on Thursday, uh, we were doing a really nice doodle. Let's have a look if you can remember. So we, let's look on the overhead. Do you remember we looked at this doodle? Let's come in a little bit closer so you can see it better as well. There we are. That's better, isn't it? So we did that doodle and then we coloured, we did it in, we inked it, didn't we? That's the one we're going to make into a stamp. Due to huge demand, this is going to become a stamp for sure. I've had another really good idea on the way home yesterday in the car. We didn't get into that, I don't know, nine, nine o'clock, something like that in the evening. But Paul and I, we were chatting all the way. And I said, you know, I've had a really good idea. Our shack stamps, all our shack designs, what you and I have done over the last couple of years, you know, we've got the, we've got quasi tutorials, haven't we? Hundreds of them on, on, um, on YouTube because we record all this, don't we? If you missed it, you may be watching live or you can always come in later and catch up and crap. You know, you can, you can keep, keep us company later or you can catch up on the tutorial side of things. You know, people like to do that. And, um, and so I was thinking, if we gathered up, it took me a little while because it's been a while, I'd have to gather up all the different designs that we uh, attributed to the shack, you know, and we could make a really beautiful range of stamps, sh shack stamps, you know, shack shack stamps. Like we've got the KISS range, the Keep It Simple stamps, we could really do, you know, so that, and then I was thinking, in, I'm giving away all my ideas now, but, you know, Shaq is us, isn't it? And I was thinking, you could put the, the you could put the, um, the stamps in a, in a, in a pack, and then you could say that the tutorial or when we got together and drew them together, if you want to go for inspiration and ideas, it was, uh, chapter such and such and such because it's very difficult when you got 200 or 300 of them to know where did we do japan you know i want to know how she doodled those pebbles well you know so it'd be brilliant if if you can get the stamp with the information and an inspiration card you know like, like the shack uh, like the kiss stamps i thought you take a little while, but I'm up for it. I've got, you know, I'm in the groove. I, I fancy giving that a go and then starting our own range, our own range, you know, that we did together. I think that'd be quite nice. And there's the point. I think these, when we put these together, I've got another one for us to do as well. When we put these together, I think when we launch these, that's my, my target for launching the Shack range. Hey? Let's get us on the map. That's what I said. Let's get us on the map. Hey, eh? yes. So anyway, there you go. That's what happens when Paul and I are in the car, stuck in traffic on the M11 for hours and the M25 for hours and the M2 for hours <laughs> and the A21 for hours. Yeah, the traffic was a bit savage yesterday. Right. So this is what we did, didn't we? And then we penned it. Right, so pencils first. This is a five by five, quick recap, five by five card cut in half, right? Then what do we do next? Oh yeah, then we took our ruler and we made a frame and a doodle around it. Then we penned it, didn't we? Then once we penned it, we took our mix mats and our watercolor, which we're gonna do again. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna lose my watercolor. And our water brushes. Where are they? Water brushes. So we did that, that, and that. Got a really lovely wash by putting a glaze down first. And we'll do it again. I think practice, practice, practice. You know, and it's not only that, it's habits. It's like um, if you do something several times, it becomes the sequence becomes um a process. 
and then you remember that you have to do that before you do that. If you only do it once, chances are you'll forget some of the sequence. Hmm? So, so we'll do this again. Anyway, so we've got this really lovely, really lovely cloudy sort of, see if we can see it on that one. Let it just focus. Look, really misty, cloudy. When it dried, it dried really nicely. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, I did a bit on my, look, I'll show you my scrappy one. Then I thought what we could do is do some shading to get some really nice texture on those pence, on those petals with the pencils. So today I thought we'd start on the, we'd do the shading. And then once we've done the shading, we'll, we'll go to another doodle. We'll get going. And if we don't get to it, it's not a race. It's not a production line. It's just us hanging out. So if we just get to the shading today, then on Thursday we'll get to the new doodle. But it's very nice. Very nice. Similar but very different. All righty. How's that sound? How's that sound, friends? Oh, my eyes, my eyes. 171 people in the room. Boom. Love it. Love it. And I have an attitude of gratitude today. I really, really do. An attitude of gratitude. Got to be done, friends. You know, don't be clum. It's Monday, start of the new week. I looked out the window this morning and the pinky grey, the pinky grey skies with the bright blue in the background was quite something, quite biblical, you know. I thought we've got a lot to be grateful for, haven't we? You've got to dig deep sometimes, but you do have a lot to be grateful for. Hmm? I mean, I was thinking about those poor folk in Florida. I mean, poor folk all over the world, poor folk in Ukraine. If you look, to, if you look beyond your garden fence, you think, my goodness me, isn't it? Overwhelming. But I was thinking about the hurricane in Florida because our grace was in Mexico and I thought, mm, you know. And um, I was looking, I've got friends in Florida, you know, and I was, we were watching, weren't we, where this hurricane hit. And... Um, you see the flood water and you think, oh, no, you know, how awful. And then, you know, as if that weren't bad enough, then you see the alligator in the flood water, in the garden. And you think, Christ, I didn't think that. It never crossed my mind that there'd be alligators and snakes floating around in the flood water. You can't even wade over the road, can you? Oh, <laughs> I know, it beggars belief. So what I'm trying to say in my own inimitable way is if you've got an electric bill that's a little bit sharp, we all got an electric bill that's a little bit sharp. However, we've got a roof over our heads. We've got a radiator that we can switch on and there aren't alligators in the garden lurking. And you know what Paul said when I was telling, I was talking about this yesterday in the car. He says, Snakes are worse. I said, I don't think so. I could cope with a snake. Alligator's a bit radical to me. <laughs> I could handle a snake, but not an alligator. <laughs> I mean, God, that's just insane, isn't it? And so I have an attitude of gratitude today. What I've got is two tigers outside. One's called Ragnar and one's called Eric. Yeah. <laughs> so come on let's get upbeat anything going on in your life that's making you sad park it just for an hour will you please just leave it it'll all be there at the door when you, when we finish doing our doodling and our coloring but just park it for an hour and enjoy your freedom okay come on now let me see Shading, shading. Have you got a colouring pencils? Have you got the grey pencils? Let's have a look. I need my right glasses on and then we'll get going because we want to have a look. Look, see the difference? This is the one I practised on. Look at the difference. Flat, not flat. So what we're going to do now is use some greys. So I've got my grey polychromos. If you haven't got grey polychromos, just use a pencil, you know. Pencil will do the job. However, I have to say that... These are dynamite, right? And so that you don't have to buy all 60 
in a big tin. We did put together the pertinent ones for you. This is a pretty good set. So you've got about four greys in there. I'm using the greys that are in there. And it ranges from a really light beige grey. Boring beige, we call that one. Number two is my fave. Then you've got the ivory, which is lovely. You've got that lovely peachy fleshy colour. You've got a, a really Victorian yellow, which is nice. What is that one called? Cream, cream, you know. And you've got the silver, the gold and the copper in there too. So worth having friends if you're into this so what we're going to do is put some shadow down that's going to be my stamp that's for jazz i've got to give her the artwork the line art so she can create a stamp out of it so i don't want to lose that where should i put that put that there righty ho and then we'll start now top tip always have a bit of card or what you're working on next to you so that you know what the colour's going to be here. I mean, the lovely thing is that the watercolour in the background, it does give, it gives your pencils a little bit of, like, purchase, a little bit of tooth, if you like, which is quite good. So I'm starting with the lightest one. I'm going to start with the lightest one, play it safe, and then I'm going to, I'm going to start thinking about where the shadow is. So what we'll do is we'll take our time doing this, I mean, it's it's quite um, arty, this, isn't it, what we're doing? So you don't have to be too... So what you do is you come down gently along the edge and then you feather. See, just to get a cloud. Go like that and then feather a bit. Thing is, because it's a light colour that I'm using to start with... Let's come in a bit tighter, shall we? Because I'm using a light colour to start with... Hey, now we can see what we're doing. You don't really see so much, right? Right, here we go. So can I put, drop that one behind that one? Here we go. So we'll work our way systematically like that. It's already working and then feather lightly. It's all right. Well, don't press too hard though, because if you press too hard, what you'll find is it's difficult to get another layer on top because you've kind of sealed it. However, Having said that, if that does happen and you've pressed too hard so it's gone shiny, all you need to do is take your pink rubber, your pink eraser, and just take it out again. If you are, this is this is the great thing about this, you know. If you don't like what you've done, just lift it off again with the with the pink eraser. Not the white eraser, the white eraser is for, for ink, isn't it? There you go. It's already looking better. So this is just the lightest colour. Which one am I using? Uh, cold grey three. Right, so we'll do this side of the flower as well. So this is quite a good practice flower for shading because it's got so many petals. It's cool. There we go. In we go. So did you watch at the weekend, Thursday, Friday and Sunday, on the telly, Create and Craft? Yeah, busy. Surprisingly busy, you know. One thinks, well, I do anyway. You've got Clarity Classics, you know, you've got stamps and designs that have been around for 20 odd years. You think, hmm. And yet, it all sold out. So, isn't that, that's quite something, you know? It's quite something, that is. And we, we kind of decided, we took the decision to do that. Oh, I don't probably need any shadow there. I'll put a little bit in. Um, we did. We decided to do that because we feel that if we keep bringing new, 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 apart from the fact that our little team can't keep up with the design side of things, you know, there's a lot of work goes into a new range, right? But it's not just at our end, it's at your end as well. Was new, 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 new. How can you afford to buy new, 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 new? So, you know, every now and again, well, actually quite a lot, we 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 reintroduce Clarity Classics, firm favourites, whatever you want to call it. And and that way, doesn't that look pretty? See, see the difference? So let's go out a little bit further with our let's stretch our grey a little bit, the light one. Let's come out a bit more. Just feathering. Because it's pink, it's quite forgiving. Because the background's coloured, this is quite forgiving, isn't it? 
So what was I saying? Yeah, so we we decided to go easy on the new designs, just slow it down a little bit, you know, travel gently. Do you remember we said at the beginning, enduring lockdown, after we'd all got a good hide in from that, we said, right, travel gently, friends. And I have to travel gently in the business as well, because my staff, the, the Clarity team, they, they, they can't. You know, none of us can keep going at the pace that we were going before. And, um, and so, you know, slow it down and get some joy out of your work. That's how we're looking at it now. Try to, try to enjoy what we're doing rather than chasing our tails all the time like we were before. It does make you reevaluate, doesn't it? A pandemic will do that, you know. A deadly pandemic will certainly make you reevaluate life. And so, so we're... We're not, I'm going to go all, I'm doing all the bits with this light grey. I think that's a good idea. Um, yeah, so we we kind of took our foot off the design pedal and we, we, we take our time looking at the designs and thinking about them. And, you know, we, we, we're always working on new designs. Of course we are. And we're always super busy. But we're not banging out new, 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 new all the time. And I think, I hope that you understand why. You know, it's it's as much for our benefit as it is for yours, really. And that's the best thing about what happened at the weekend, okay, is that clearly it works. That looks good, doesn't it? It works. If we you know, I love to have an. I love to go with a with a with a strategy that works. Um, so what what we're seeing is that we've got lots of new customers. We've got customers that didn't buy it the first time round because maybe we were banging out so much new stuff they had to make a, a choice and they didn't choose what what's on offer today. You know, so so that's pretty cool. I, I I'm glad for that. You know, and you know, and the other thing is, there are there are some beautiful accessories. For example, you know, like yesterday, I got the 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 fibers, the film and fibers out. We ordered them in. We I actually I did have them shipped in from the states, um, so that I could show that demonstration yesterday. Because I also think that there are superb older products like the angelina fibers or we call them fusible fiber and film and that they're absolutely brilliant products but in this quest this constant quest for new 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 you know we forget some of the best stuff in our cupboard don't we do you, do you know what i mean we do we forget and we, and then it gets discontinued and and you think oh, it's really brilliant gear and there are always new people coming into crafting, always new people coming into crafting. You think, gosh, they wouldn't even know about this. And yesterday, clearly, a lot of people didn't know about fusible film and fibre, Angelina film and fibre, because it sold very, very well. So I think it's my responsibility to continue to shine a light on what I consider to be really good in from the past as well, you know, because I've been around a long time, haven't I? So have you. <laughs> but you understand, I think it's, it's, it's key. And so many of you will have been watching yesterday going, oh, yeah, I've got that. Yeah, I've got that. Yeah, I've got that. Yeah, I've seen her do that. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, I've forgotten about that bit. Oh, that's new. Mm, didn't know you could do that, right? So that's the people, that's the good friends that have already got everything in the cupboard. But then there's a whole other raft of people who haven't got any of it. So what you were watching yesterday going, yep, tick, 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 sin it, sin it, sin it, sin it, got it, got it, got it, ain't got it, got it, got it, ain't got it. There's a whole other world of people out there going, oh, I've never seen that before. Well, blow me. So what do you use to stick that down? Oh, the red skin tape. Mm, that's nice. See, it's fascinating, isn't it? So yeah, and I and I imagine that there will also be, um, with with 
our seasoned customers or our our real loyal customers that have already got everything, the Kens and the and the and the Judiths and the Janets, you know, and the Lindas and the oh, you know, you know who you are. You've got it all. You've already got it all. Michaela and so you'll be going, oh good. I've got a break. I, she hasn't brought out anything new. I can enjoy this. Use what I've got in the cupboard for a change rather than piling into some new gear again. And that's, I think, where we may be different to other companies, but it's where I prefer to be. I prefer that lane, you know, where you also go, oh, that's good. I've already got that. Rather than, ah, I've already seen that. Does it, It's not like that, is it? It's not like that. It's a positive when you've got something. It's not like, Ah, oh, rats, I can't spend any money today. I don't think it works like that. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Well, certainly not for me. So you see how I've done a lighter one there, but check out the difference between this one and this one, just with a lighter pencil, yeah? So then let's take, which one did I use? I used cold grey three, mm, didn't I? I used cold grey three. So let's take a darker one. What we got there? That's a warm one. That's nice. That'll warm it up a bit. Warm grey four. Okay, next one in. All right, let's go back. Let's go back and let's add a little bit actually in the flower now, up the up the ridges. This would be nice. Look what. Can create quite some illusions, you know, with these, with the shading. Let's have a look. Let's have a think about this. So if we wanted to do this, probably we'd add a little tiny pea of shade up the centre. Look, light feathery strokes. Yeah, looky, looky. See, up the middle. Because this will probably go in. in we're creating the illusion that it goes in a little bit in the centre. It dips. See? That's quite good. There you go. Up the centre. That'll do. Don't have to overcook it. Nice, 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 nice. Let's get some shadow in there as well. Down the bottom. So you can add a little bit of depth. A bit darker. We're going to go a little bit darker now. Stay a little bit closer to the... I've got a bit of a chisel going, see? So that side's quite soft when I do it. When I turn it over, see it's sharp on that side. See, so if I want to go in really sharp, then I just flick the pencil around and I can get in really tight, right? If I want it to be softer, I turn it around and I use the flat of it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm no expert and I don't want to sound like one. I could just tell you, I bet you there are a lot more of you that know a lot more than me, <laughs> and that's a fact. But I'm the driver, <laughs> so I've got to tell you something, haven't I? And I've practised for a long time. Look, see now? This looks pretty, doesn't it, with a bit of depth? And you could go darker. You could go darker even. But I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm mindful of the fact that these are light, beautiful flowers, you know? But you can see I've turned the pencil around. And I'm going in with the sharp edge now. And all that does is gives it more depth. See how it's pushing it back? Is that working? Yeah, I know it is. See, so it's darker. So on this side, for example, I'm just pushing that back. I probably wouldn't even go to a darker colour than this. That'll do. See, it's nice, isn't it? If you felt like it, you could put some shadow on these bits as well. You know, on the, like there. You could You could use the... The, um, the frame that we doodled. So if you wanted to, I'll probably go in with a lighter one. I always play it safe with the light one first, make sure I, I like what I'm doing. Right, not too hard. Here we go, swing low. Right, here we go. Just swing it like that. And then we can get a nice shadow going. Ah, it just adds a little bit of depth, you see? If you wanted to, do that. Choices, choices, eh? There. That's nice, isn't it? 
So that's how you get the shade going. Okay. Cool. I'm getting a bit chilly now. I'm rather than I'm just going to put this little heater on for a minute. It's it's less expensive <laughs> to just give myself a, a little blast every now and again than I'm going to have to work it out because I'm above the garage. The garage is quite cold. And so, of course, it gets cold on my feet. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> you know it's going to be cold when I'm sitting here in fingerless gloves <laughs> and a hat <laughs> and, a, and a balaclava. <laughs> you know, you know things are going peak tong. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, what's the world coming to? It's gone mad. <laughs> Listen. It will all be all right, you know. It will. One day at a time. All we've got to think about today is today. Okay. Just stay safe. Stay warm. Hmm? Think about what you can do. You can do lots. We're very resourceful, us women and Ken. We're very resourceful. You know that, especially our generation. Because we've been around a long time, you know, and you can't but pick up a few tricks and tips along the way, isn't it? We've got some good survival tools. You know we have, especially us crafters. See, another advantage. We've got lots of advantage. We're creatives, so that means we're thinkers. So we're crafters, which means we're good with our hands, so to speak. You know, so all that stuff is really all positive for us, all positive. Isn't it? Rub your hands, friction. They ask, get warm now. I remember Dave always said to me, farmer, he always said, if you get cold, just relax your shoulders. Because you hunch up like that, don't you? Oh, it's freezing. If you just relax your shoulders, it's so true. Try it. Next time you're outside and you go like that, just think of Dave. Relax your shoulders. And it's like a wave of warmth goes through you. It's the strangest thing. Works every time. I know. Funny old bloke. Right, ready? Less of the old, he said. So we've done that one. Doesn't that look pretty? So what's the time? Half past. I'm thinking, right, I'm thinking what I'd really like to do. So I don't think we have to do that as well. You know, we've just done this. We don't need to do that as well. Do we? I mean, we could. I could drag it out. Or we could start on a new one. And I know, I know what you're going to say. You just told me it's not a race. It's not a race. It's not a race. But I would really like to <laughs> show you a new one. <laughs> Come on, let's take a vote. Hands up. Who wants me to finish this? I'll do it. I'll carry on doing this. Who wants me to just do this and then we start a new one on Thursday? Or who wants to have a look at what we're doing and get in, get in the get into the next project on the, on this lovely Monday. Mm, come on. And then Paul, while I'm doing this, you let me know. And by the time you've let me know, <laughs> you know what's going to happen, don't you? By the time you've let me know, I will have finished this as well. <laughs> See, really, it doesn't matter what you do, as long as you hang out together and you free your mind. I know that sounds a bit hokey, but it is the truth, you know. All the time you're looking at this pencil and working out where to put the shade, okay? You're not worrying about what else is going on. Hey, okay. It's overwhelming. If you're overwhelmed, well, I'm not surprised you're overwhelmed. New. <laughs> How did I know? I know you so well. See? New. Okay. Well, let's go new then. So, shading pencils. We've got them. And now we're going to go new. 
Are you ready? All right, hang on. My seat's, my seat's going down. It's like that. What's his name? Rowan Atkinson. Have you ever seen him when he's in that boardroom meeting and he's sitting there like that? Look how long that look. And then suddenly he goes, <laughs> really low. <laughs> Sorry. I start larking about, right? Okay. Right, new one. This is really pretty. It's a really pretty one. Now, I've done it in pencil. I woke up at five o'clock this morning and I had to come and, because I didn't know what we were going to be doing today. I know, a bit busy. That's all right. And I came up with this and I thought, I really, really like it. Really, really like it. Right, you ready? So this one, oh, let's pan out a little bit. It's a rosy doodle. Look, see the rose? It's the same thing, but instead of this flower, it's a rosy doodle. Look, really nice. And let me pan out a little bit. We're going to show you a couple of tricks here. So this time, I've gone larger. I've gone on to the 7x7. Seven seven. So you get yourself a 7x7. Seven seven. Come on, let's get the ingredients. You need a bit of 7x7. Seven seven. I mean, if you watch the telly, I mean, I, 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 I bore myself sometimes trying to get you to buy this blooming stuff. <laughs> Look, see if you get a flashback. And here we have stencil card, right? And when you're on telly, you get not one, but, hang on a minute, two packs of it. I know. Amazing. 100 pieces. You'll never need card again. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I've got to do that, though. I have to tell you what I'm stamping on. Otherwise, you won't know, will you? So that's the gear we're using. Stencil card. It's really good quality. And it's... 250 GSM, great for paint, great for ink, great for stamping on, it's great for gel press, double-sided, well, of course it's double-sided, it's the same on both sides, I think that means. Okay, and it's seven by seven, so we're going to use a piece of this, it's good gear, and because we're going to do some watercolour to it, that's, that's, so this is the same thing, see, right, okie dokie. So we're going to use this. Now I've gone really dark with my pencil lines so that you can see where I've gone. This is not what you want to do because you don't want, look, see, you want to be able to rub the pencil lines out afterwards. So you want to go really, really lightly. Okay. But this is a, what do you think? Is it pretty? I think so. Paul says he's the producer putting in the links. <laughs> Right, so ruler, Pergamano ruler. This one's got a groovy grip on it so it doesn't slide around. You, it's up to you whether you need it or not. And then we're going to use a pencil. You can use any pencil you like. We've got these ones. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in Selly Telly mode. Look, Faber Castell, these are beautiful sketching pencils. They are top banana. This is what we use. Failing this, just get a pencil. HB, bog standard, does the job. If you want to rub it out, don't press so hard. If you don't worry about that, press harder, all right? I'm using uh, to be. So to be or not to be, that is the question. To be means that it's black, B stands for black, and it's uh, soft, softer. You could get 6B, 7B, and 8B. I don't know. I don't I'm not sure. I think this is the one we sell. Got 8B in this one. 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B, lots of Bs. And the higher the number with the B, the softer and blacker the pencil. So by the time you get to 8B, it's almost like charcoal. You can rub it to blend it, you know. And Or you can go up the other end, H, hard. HB, doesn't know what it wants to be. <laughs> it's the middle one. It's the one we use, isn't it? HB. Middle. And then you've got, so that's hard black. Then you've got fine, which is super fine. Then you've got H, which is hard, and 2H, which is very hard. Made in Germany. All the best things are. Right, you ready? So what we'll do is we'll make a border. So the board, first of all, we're going to make a border so we can put our panels in the right place. So let's have a look. Do you like this one? I know you do. I don't know why I'm asking. I know you're going to love this one. 
because you loved the other one. So I thought, oh, let's just do what they like. Ta da Right. So this one, though, we're going to go a little larger. And you can see that as far as around the edge, it's about three quarters of an inch or uh, two centimeters for our metric friends, right? Two centimeter frame around the outside. Okay. Very, very lightly around the outside. Now, forgive me, friends, if you can't actually see what I'm doing here, but that's because I need it. I'm going to go really, really lightly, okay, so that I've got a box. See, you, it is there because I know where the boxes are going to be. Look, check it out. Can you see the lines? No, not really. There. Really, really lightly. And then up this side as well, same place. It's two centimeters. See, I like these rulers because they. And I'm going to come, I'm going to make sure that I, I'm in there. So just really lightly. Because it will make it so easy. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but you understand what I'm doing, don't you? Right. And then we'll do this one really lightly. So I'm using the line on the ruler here to make sure it's in the right place. And then I'm just going really lightly there. So I can see pretty much. See, because it's a black pencil, I can see it. Right. And then up this side as well. Okay. That'll do. And then I've got the middle one to do. Right. All right, we've got to sort that out. The middle one. So we're going to go just gently, just make a box so you can see roughly where it is. See, that's good enough. That's good enough, isn't it? Just make sure it's the right six. Six. Bit crooked. That'll do. Right, and then this one, I'm going to make a, a box in there like that. Box. Just do do a gentle box. This is a bit random, but it's going to be f lovely. Watch. It's just so you've got a rough idea where your where your boxes are, and they're in the centre. See, so I've got box, 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 panel. Okay, like that. Right, and while you're looking at that, I'm going to turn me heater off. That's it. It's toasty in there now. Ooh. Okay, so once we've done our panels, then we're going to make our flowers. Right, lightly does it, lightly does it. Actually, before we make our flowers, yeah, let's do our flowers next. Flowers next. So we're going to go, if I put that there, so you can see it. I've put a flower here, a flower there, a bud there, and a little thing there. So, so let's just make the shapes so that we know exactly where we're going to go here. So these, the shapes, just bear with me a minute. Let me get a piece of copy paper so I can show you. The shapes are actually, don't worry about the squiggles in the middle. We'll sort them out afterwards. The shapes are just like this. That's it. See, this one. It's just like that. Just a shape. If you want to do a bud, shall I press harder? Like that, right? Or you can go like that. They're just blobs. You can make a shape like that. You can make a shape like that. You do any shape you like. Look, they're just blobs. You can make a, a triangle, soft triangular, that one there. You can make a bud. There's another bud there. That's it. It's not hard. Just let it go. Don't overthink it. Just, and you know what? Here's the thing. You got a bit of scrap, so you can practice on a bit of scrap until you like the shapes that you like. You've got a piece of stencil card. Um, what's the worst that can happen? It's a bit of paper and a pencil. Just give it a go. You've got nothing to lose. When I woke up this morning, I didn't know what I was doing. And I'm really chuffed with this. 
because I know now, I know what it's going to look like. So I've already done the, the thinking bit for you. So don't overthink it, all right? It gets us into trouble every time, doesn't it? Now, let's have a look. So we've got our box, and now we're going to put our, we're going to put our, our shapes in. Now, there's just a couple of little things. You've got to kind of think through when you're doing it. Think through, if you put the shape there and there, they're going to be, going to get stalks going as well. You see, and this is a pretty little thing here. So let's do that as well. Right, so I'm not going to copy what I've done because it never works very well. So we're just going to put a shape up here. And if it goes outside the box, that's fine too. If it goes into the border, happy days. You won't see much of it. Right, I'm going to actually, oh, what have I done now? You won't see much of it because I'm going to go really, really lightly, right? But I'm going to put a shape here, just a shape, look, like that. There's one. I put a bud here, like that. I'm not pressing too hard, am I? I'm going to put another shape here, like that. There's a third one. And I've left enough room to put my little ones here. So these little ones, right, they're going to go out. And we're just going to put the shapes in. Don't worry about the actual, look, just a little bud like that. Put another one in there. They're pointing outwards. So when you do this, it's like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Just go down. You can make them smaller as you go to the bottom, like that. See? And then when you've done that, then what you can do is you can start, you're going to go through them like this. Look. So you, then you put the stalk in afterwards, see, like that. And then you can put the little, so you can put the little bits on the bottom. If you want to put little, you can put little, little caps, see, just little flowers, little leaves, like that. Yeah, see what I'm doing? Then down here, if you want, you put little, you can go up here, make it taller, put a couple of those in, doodles. It's what we're doing, isn't it? See? So you can make them, you can make them that shape. You can make them that shape. That's quite nice too. There you go. Like that. See? Mix it up. Mix it up a bit. It's all right. Easy. Don't overthink it. So I've got one, two. I'm going to leave a bit of a gap. I might do another one like that. Put another one in there. And then that's the stalk coming down. Right, do the stalk later. So now I've done that. Now that's that shape done. And then I'm going to do the ones in this as well. Well, it's all right. We've got time. Right, we've got to put another shape in here. One great big one like that. That'll do. And then I'm going to put those little, I'm going to put these in as well. That'll do. Nice. Cool. Then I think I'm going to put a big one in here as well. So this one's going to be like that. Yeah. Now I'm going to put a long one in here of all little ones like that. Just think flower heads. That'll do. You could put a little bud. Should we put a bud in? Go on. Put a bud in as well. That'll be nice. Can you actually see what I'm doing here? Hope so. So I don't want to do it too hard. There's a reason, there's a method in my madness. I don't want to do it too hard. Let's get the stalks in. But before we do the stalks, let's do around the outside. Right, again, choices, choices. I chose to go with the same style as we did last time. Do you see? But you could do what you like. If you wanted to just keep it straight, you could do it straight. You could keep it like a decal. So in other words, just do that. It doesn't have to be all woo -ah. Look, that looks quite good too, just like that. See? You don't have to put the, the swirls in. You don't have to, if you wanted to, just go like that. Every now and again, you might want to do a little, little, little wiggle. See, that looks pretty nice as well. Not, it's not as busy as what I've done here. Now, I'm thinking, because the flowers are quite busy, maybe that would look nice. Should we do that one instead? Come on then. Why not? So let's do it then. Don't overthink it. Start up here. Hold your pencil upright like that. So that makes it decally if you do that. Right. So let's see if I hold, if I do that. 
Yeah, let's see if you can see it better there now. So when I go like this, I'll start up here and then I'm just going to go down like that and I'm just going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And I did a little loop-de-loop. -loop. There you go, go again. Little loop-de-loop -loop the other way. There, that'll do. Cool, I went off piste a little bit. That's all right, I can marry that up. Let me go again. That'll do. Let's go from on top. See where I went off piece? That's all right. Let's go here. Behind the flower. That's it. And then I'm going to come along the bottom. And I'm just using the square frames to give me a... Yeah, I went a little bit out there. But do you know what? That's... Not something we're going to worry about today. Right, and then we'll do this one as well because we need to actually put our our frames in before we can put our stalks in, you see. Along we go again. These we'll do in ink anyway. I should have probably done it straight into ink, but there we go. That's all right. This will be all right. I could probe it out afterwards. That's the thing, you see, this isn't exactly tricky, is it, what we're doing here? Round we go, look, squiggle, squiggle. Up we go. Not hard. Right, so now we've done that. Cool. So we've got our panels. This is a, this, my obsession's kicking in here. I'm going to have to straighten this out. I'll do it afterwards. What I'll do is, when I pen it, I'll pen it straight. So I'll come down. Right. So now the next thing is the flowers. So I think the best thing to do is get the stalks in. OK, so so, for example, this is the long one at the back. Let's bring it round like that. Bring it round the back like that there. And then I'm going to bring this one in like that. And then this one. Let me just air draw for a minute. Yeah, that's it. So this one's going to come in around the back. OK. And then like that, and then like so. Nice. And then this one, we can make this quite tall if we like. Uh, we're going to, I might go a bit higher than that. Let's have a look. And then we're going to wiggle along here. If it doesn't touch, don't worry about it because you can just join it. That's it. Nice. Okay, that's that one. Sorted. Let's get the stalks in. And that stalk's got a nice curve on it. And that stalk's got a nice, there you go. That's a nice curve. Right, now this one here, we're going to come down here again and pick up that. Looks good. Nice. Okay. And then this one, this little fella, I'm going to bring it in like so. Oh, he looks a bit, <laughs> he looks a little bit unnaturally. That's better. So in that case, where's my wubba? I'm in my own little world here. Let's make sure that we haven't got pink. If you press too hard, it will go pink. So it's that one I want to let go of. So we'll just lightly eliminate. Lightly eliminate. That'll do. There you go. Right, so now we've got our flowers in place haven't we? Should have a look at the rest? So now it's about this, isn't it? And the dots and the dashes. A lot of it you'll do with a pen later. But for example, here, if we start in the middle, and we go round like that. Right, there's the first rows. There's the first rows, next rows. So this one, just look at where you're going and then decide. Do you want this rose to come right down like that? There, easy. Right, this one is a... Mm, I like this one. This has got a, a front and a back like a... There you go. See? So now you've got that one kissing the bud around the back. I'm pressing hard so you can see what I'm doing. Now this one, let's bring this one down the front. This is going to come right round here. But I'm going to st I'll start in the centre again. And then round I go. But round the front... I'll make it tight. Look, see how you make it tight around the back? 
Too much, Barbara. Way too much. Back it up. Back it right up. It's like a Cumberland sausage, look. Round it goes. For our foreign friends, a Cumberland sausage looks like this. <laughs> it's a sausage that looks like a... This doesn't look very appetising, actually, to be fair. Does it? This is way too much grey. What was I thinking? I got into a a doodle run there. Right, that'll do. So going again, my, my, my shape. Let me get my shape right. There's my shape. There's my shape. There's my stalk. And this is my rose now. I'm going to have to go again here. That'll do. Much better. What was I thinking? Right, there you go. This one, one more rose. I wonder if we go from the outside. I'm kind of tempted to. There you go. All right, outside. Right, so now we've done that, and then on the inside we'll make some. We'll make a little dot. There we are. Um, and then this is the the thingy me jig, the bird. Right, and then here, let's have a look. We're going to come down here and we're going to just catch the leaves as we go down. So you've really got your kind of rough frame now. It's good to have a, a kind of a, a rough idea of where you're going, isn't it? See? I need to sharpen my pencil, actually. What sharpener do you use? I've got this one. This is the one that I use. Right. So what we've done now, we've got we've got the shape, we've got the frame, we've got the the roses that are in place. Right. This is my best. So then what we're going to do? It looks really ropey, but it it's not over until it's over. See, that's what you've got. Don't be going, oh, it's rubbish, it's rubbish. It's not done yet. All we're doing is establishing the shapes. You know, and you may, you may think, right, do you know what? I want to um, I want to establish my design and then I'm going to transfer it to my, my card. You might want to do that first. You know, don't overthink it. So now, for example, with the rose, if it's got the base here, then perhaps on the rose, what we're going to do now is make some little, look, we can make some little, just funky designs. There you go, look. And and on the, on the look, little tiny leaves. And on this, on the rose again, if that's the stalk there, I might double up on the stalk again, you know, because I think it looks pretty good if you do it like that and then on the on the base of the of the rows again got a little you might want to put leaves in like this or you might want to put these little leggy bits in like that that looks pretty cool it looks like a bow yeah and then on these bits here like this you could put little tiny leaves in the bottom right like that and they it just ties in can you see this okay just little tiny, it's almost like a little heart at the bottom, like that. That looks good, yeah? Now, whether you want to add, like, two layers, see, as soon as you do that, that changes the whole thing, too. Look, like that. It's up to you. It's entirely up to you how you want to run this one. And then you can make little teardrop leaves like this. That's quite nice. I like these stray little leggy things like that that looks pretty cool to me right um and then it means that that's what they've all got in common the roses but you could put big leaves on it but that's the same as what we always do isn't it there that looks quite nice you know and then down the stalk let's do a double stalk just a double stalk overlapping and then where the overlaps are if you prefer you could put little look, single lines or double lines you can put the dots in um so so we can continue on with this 
on Thursday. How's that sound? So you've got till Thursday to get your roses in, master your beautiful roses. They're pretty cool, right? So here's, look, see? It's a little bit more squiggly, my one now. Okay, look, and then a dot in the middle. It's quite good, isn't it? Let's see this one here. Comes round like that. This one stopped there. Look. I actually put two layers in and then put another layer there. So that's quite nice, like that. But in essence, all you're doing is you're going round, round, and then stopping. So there's your rose, there's your buds. And uh, I'm going to see you again on Thursday. We'll carry on with this and then we'll decide about shading and colouring, shall we? See, it's looking good now, happy with that. So I may have a half hour now deciding which one I want to run with because I like them both. They're both different. I like the outline of that one. I prefer the flowers on that one. That's typical, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so, and what's going on here? Well, let me see, it's nearly 11 o'clock and tomorrow... Uh, Paul's going to be in the building with you because he's got groovy, groovy Tuesday. So that would be great at 10 o'clock. He's got some lovely stuff. And then on Wednesday, he's back up to Peterborough for the ODS at 6 o'clock in the evening. And we are um, shining a light on some magnificent Linda Williams wreath plates. Again, you know, not new, but fabulous. And you just think, you know, we have to show you these beautiful things. We can't just show them once and then put them in the cupboard. Why would you do that? You know, those of you who've got it can get more mileage out of it, new ideas. Those of you that haven't don't know what you're missing because they're glorious, absolutely beautiful plates. So that's on Wednesday evening at six o'clock. And then other than that, we're trying our hardest to get all the orders out from the weekend as fast as we can. Please bear with us, be patient. I noticed that somebody was saying they, they weren't getting their postcards. We haven't stopped making the postcards that we put in free with all your boxes. Um, we ran out and we were packing over the weekend and the printing, the person that does the printing for us, Lisa, she wasn't working at the weekend. So we decided to get the orders out. We had a choice, you know, want to hang on to the orders or get the orders out. There you go. There's always a good reason at Clarity for why we do things or don't do things. And then the other thing I was going to say is because I'm getting people are badgering me about doing the NEC and about doing exhibitions. I can't. There's the answer. No is a complete sentence. It does not require justification or explanation. But I'm going to explain. I can't do it. I've got too much going on. Dave can't do it. You have you cannot begin to imagine how much work, how much graft how much collar how much sweat and toil goes into those exhibitions when you are the exhibitor if you're if you're worn out after a day at the nec imagine how we are after five days at the nec we're in our 60s now i did it for 30 years enough is enough don't want to do it anymore so so the answer is no i won't be at the exhibitions we're so lucky now we've got this we don't need to fill the van and do that stuff you know, I've done my bit, did that for many, many years. So please understand that that's not happening anymore. That's a no. It's not a not this year. It's a not happening anymore. Can't handle it. Can't handle it. My bones can't handle it. My old body can't handle it. My husband can't handle it. You know, so there we go. We're handing it over to the younger generation. They can take over and they can do that. I'd rather do something really lovely online, do a workshop, do a sale, do an event. Do something intelligent like that, you know. I think that the shows have a place, and we did. We, you know, we used to love them. But now with COVID and age and my parents and no, nah, don't want to do it anymore. Okay, so I hope you understand that. And, uh, and other than that, I think I'll see you on Thursday at 10 o'clock in the morning, and we'll crack on with our doodle roses. I think they're lovely. Paul, thank you so much for your help and uh and have a great week lots of love bye bye now